guys, Brandon down here at Snake River Fly. Got another streamer pattern coming at you today. Uh, kind of a game changer style, little minnow. Um, did really, really well on this guy, chasing uh, smallmouth bass, you know, throughout the sections of the snake. Um, also a killer trout pattern, especially this time of year where they're gonna be uh, coming out of that spawn pretty soon and be looking to put the feed bag on. Um, you know, we've sent this pattern down uh, to Florida last year with some good friends of ours. Um, definitely, uh, didn't find any tarpon like we were hoping on them, but um, we might have another opportunity this year sending some down to the Keys, but they did catch quite a few snook and other, you know, predatory fish on some of our other flavors. You know, chartreuse, blacks and purples, two-toning them. And then of course, this one's my favorite, especially for around here in that classic white. Uh, the materials we're using today, I got a number two O'Shaughnessy style streamer hook. Um, that wide gap, pretty short shank on the top, but not too terribly small. Um, the main component for the tail and the body is Techno Bunny um, in white. Like I said, you can tie it in a bunch of different flavors. Um, the flash and other body wrap is our Hydro Hackle in pearl, that new color we have there. Um, you can tie this one with lead eyes if you'd like for a little more weight. Um, I personally like these mono eyes. They got a little wider base on them here, four millimeter, um, I guess is the size of the eyeballs themselves. Um, but I'm generally fishing these on a sink tip, um, just trying to get rid of some of that weight, just so I don't, my arm doesn't fall off at the end of the day after casting. But um, let's get a hook in this vise here and we will get jamming. So like I said, that's number two, O'Shaughnessy style. I got a 140 denier or a six up flat wax here. This one in particular is from Semperfly. Um, I'm starting this thread right at the midpoint or a little bit past the midpoint um, of my shank. I'm gonna take that thread all the way back down to the bend here. I'm more or less gonna find the middle point of my hook here. And that's where I'm gonna set my eyes because I'm gonna do a little wrapping in front of this. I wanna leave um, a little bit of space in the front so I can build a bridge of thread that's going to help uh, with that water push going from that real skinny hitting this great big front face here all that water crashing over and it's going to get this tail to really bump and move like game changer style flies do so but we're just going to set these eyes in figure eight try to get them as centered as possible once we get those there, then you can take your thread back down here to the bend. So one thing that I started doing with these guys to help them ride a little more level, I'm going to take some of this, this is a 40 pound mono, got a pair of flat pliers here, and you're just going to basically crimp the end so you get a nice flat tie-in spot. Um, on that mono and it won't roll around on you nearly as much. But I'm just gonna set that right on the side, closest to me. Give it some securing wraps. Wrap that back. And then I'm gonna do, get a little gauge here. Want my loop to be, you know, maybe about a half inch total in length. So once you find that, trim it just a little bit longer. crimp that side down as well. And then tie that in on the opposite side. Okay, and like I was saying, just by adding that loop there, that's gonna help this bug, you know, instead of this thing going all over the place, it's gonna help it ride pretty flat and straight in the water, still having that movement but instead of it drooping down, like if I were to pause it on a strip, it would still look like that, that minnow. So first on the list here, we're gonna take a chunk of our Techno Bunny. And just like in the tube sock sculpin, on one end, we're gonna mat down a little area. And so then in my left hand here, I'm holding tight in my right hand, I'm just doing kind of a pinch and roll and I'm gonna bring them together back into my left hand pinch, just holding them tight. Pull that back, spin again, pinch, and just rinse and repeat those steps 
until we get a really nice tight twist on this. So once we kind of got it where we want it, I'm now going to take my left hand, transfer that material over to my right, and then let go. You'll see that's going to come together on itself. I'm just kind of preen those out, and that'll give you that nice little fox tail, little game changer tail that we can tie in now. And so like total length, I'm doing about uh, length of the shank and a half. So just tie that on right there at the back. A couple underneath and then I'm going to trim this leaving just a little bit extra just about to my eyes. That way I can build that taper and really secure this stuff down. Okay, so next, take another strip of that Techno Bunny. We're gonna cut out a little tie-in spot on this one this time. I'm gonna tie that down right at the base of where we tied our tail in. And then we're gonna take our Pearl Hydro. And you can mix and match these colors as you go. We're going to tie that in right on top of that techno. Okay, so now I'm going to advance my thread to just right in front of those eyes and let that hang. So now you take your hydro and your techno together, line them up, make sure that both the materials are facing the same way, where they're both one sided. And so then we're just going to start palmering this up the body. Simultaneously, every wrap, I'm giving this, kind of preening those fibers back, making sure they all lay together. That's about three there. That one there, and I'm not gonna figure eight up through these, I'm just gonna jump forward and give it one full rotation together, come up here to the top, and then I'm going to capture both of those. And I'm just going to cut my techno out, leave your hydro. So once you cut your techno out, I'll preen all this back and just kind of clean it up just a touch. And now we're going to give it about three extra wraps, two or three extra wraps, pretty tight and close to each other up here in the front just to build a little bit of extra flash, and a little bit of a face on this guy. Capture that there, trim that out. And so now, making your little triangle with your fingers and your thumb, pull all of those fibers back and just start slowly wrapping back up on that hydro to about the base of the, or I guess the front of your eyes. And what that's going to do is help wedge and create that front taper on this bug. It's also going to help build up the bulk on this little wedge here. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just kind of cover up any flash or any of that hydro that's sticking out. Just build a nice thread nose on this guy. And we'll come in and whip finish. Trim that out. Now it looks like a mess. Take your brush. We're going to come through and give him a little make over here. Same with the tail, you're gonna pinch just the end of it. Come through and brush that out. By... 
and don't brush this section out. That way when you print it all back, it'll kind of give you a taper on that. And just kind of pull those fibers back and then cut out any stragglers that you don't like. And there you have it. A little Techno Bunny Minnow. All the greatness of a game changer fly without having to deal with all the shanks and all the time. Real quick and easy. Swims great. Fish eat it. Um, you can find this video here, you know, on our YouTube channel. You can find it also on our website. Uh, we're also going to have a new website platform coming out here in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, we appreciate you guys watching and the continued support and you guys have a wonderful one.